sometimes all you need for a great chair design is a great branch or a great piece of vine to get started. So I'm going to mispronounce this. I believe it's Aliagnus. Uh, this is really wonderful. I get this when I can't get any uh, Southern Smilax or East Texas Smilax. I'll bring in Aliagnus and it's not the same, but it really does well for creating those vertical and curved uh, installations. And although we're not making an installation, I'm using a very similar strategy. So I have a few branches of this Ali Agnes. Again, I'm probably mispronouncing it. And I'm pulling this one because it's got a large piece and I feel like I can manipulate it really well. So I look to the chair. I want to make sure that I can secure this properly to the chair. I am going to take the end of the branch and I'm going to just weave it into the side of the chair so it holds sturdy in that direction. And then I'm going to start to maneuver the branch around the back of the chair. I'm imagining this on the bride and the groom's chair. So fun or a sweet 16. Uh, and before I even secure it, I want to visually just make sure that I like the direction that it's going. And then for security, you can use bind. Hello, little friend. So normally I will soak my branches before I bring them indoors. Jordan, can you let this little spider outside, please? Uh, so normally I will soak branches before I bring them, but these I just cut so we could do this. Uh, Jordan right now is rescuing the spider so the spider can go live where it belongs outside. Once you've got the curvature, you know where you want it. You kind of want to decide what you're going to secure it with. I really like to use bind it. I also use bind wire. You can use natural. I'm using gold today just so you can see it more clearly. For a real event, I would use natural for this uh, for this treatment. I'm going to use the bind wire as opposed to, excuse me, I'm going to use the bind it as opposed to the bind wire uh, because I feel like it gives me some really nice security and I want one of these to have some really nice security on it. Now you do see on the front of the chair a little bit of the bind it. It does not bother me. If it bothers you, then, then use the bind wire. I'm just going to flip these leaves around, make sure the leaves are not uh, interfering with the individual that's going to be seated. And so I've got this great movement. I'm going to pull this around and oh, imagine two of these, one facing the left and the other facing the right. It'd be so beautiful. I'm going to take my piece of bind wire and I'm just going to secure this in. It's going to move a little once I bind it and it's totally okay. If I don't like where it's moved, then I just adjust it. Make sure there's no wire poking out that is going to interfere with the individual seated. <laughs> you hear me all the time talk about we just need to think about comfort as well as aesthetics and how beautiful the piece is going to be. All right, so that's our structure. That's our mechanic for this chair design. So fast, right? That was literally just one piece of Aliagnus. Gosh, I struggle with that. All right, the next thing I want to do is I want to add some flowers to this piece. And for chair designs, very rarely do I use a water source because these are out in a, for a very short amount of time, even when they're in the sun. Uh, so I generally don't do a water source. I'm going to weave this in, weave it between the leaves, and I just want to kind of feel like this stem of Aliagnus is just blooming. So I try to disguise a straight line of this delphinium. I'm using the delphinium trick, um, and I'm trying to disguise it just a bit. I'm going to cut this one in half. Uh, you'll see I pre-cut a lot of my supplies. I feel like when I'm working, especially if I'm doing on-site installation of pieces. Uh, I find that pre-cutting really helps me to stay organized and helps me to move faster. Uh, the more prep time you can get done before you're on site in an event, the better. All right, here we go. So now this one's very straight down here. I might just give this a trim and then tuck it in. tucking that so we don't see it so much. All right, so now we want to continue with this line, with this beautiful bit of white. Now, as you know, delphinium, not the most bendable type of flower, but you can encourage it a little. So I'm just going to massage it down just a little so that when I pull this up here, I'm going to start down this way, and that way it doesn't snap. 
when I weave this through and attach it with my bind wire. So let's get rid of as much of the lower stem as we can. And I'm gonna have to attach this in two points. So I'm gonna attach it up here. I'm gonna attach a little lower because I need that soft part of the stem. Right about here. So to help me with my security here, I'm just, I pulled the Ali Agnes out. I didn't actually secure this at all at this point. It is actually just wedged in. I'm just very gently, actually I'm gonna, I wrap this around. I actually stop with the bind wire and I just weaved it around a bit. And we're getting to a point now where it's a little trickier because I want movement and I don't want a straight line. This is a very straight, straight flower. So I'm actually gonna cut more of this away. Lost my clipper again. Here it is. I'm gonna start where it's a little bit more flexible. Cut that through. And I'm definitely gonna have to use my bind wire here. Right up. I'm actually going to bind wire both of these together at the same time in the same place. Oh, so there was a major error I just had. I want to show you what it was I did. So I put this bind wire in where I only had one little blossom to help stabilize it. And I actually want to go down to at least two blossoms because that way, if one of them were to snap, you wouldn't really see it. You shouldn't see it at all because the other one will hold it in place. Uh, that is one of those trial and error things that I promise you, if I didn't tell you just now, you would have learned that on the job. Because that is something that happens. All right, give me a little twist. And then I'm gonna turn it and weave it just like I did before, bringing that flower all the way through. Oh, look at how pretty and how simple that is. So I like to step back, see if I'm happy with the fullness. I really like that. I like that it ends with green and not with flowers. I feel like I want a little bit more fullness right here on this side. I feel like I like the idea of it being fluffier here and then tapering out and just wisping around. So let me, let me turn this so you can see. Isn't that just so pretty? Oh, I am in love with this. Like I want to sit on this chair for the rest of my life. So right here, this is pretty as it is, but if we add a second layer in here, it really just takes this up a whole notch. Oh, I'm so deliriously happy with that. All right, I'm gonna take my bind wire here. I'm gonna go in around the Ali Agnes. give it a cut. These are great clippers. Um, these are my Ohana's and they have a little wire cutting hole right in the middle, which means I only need to have one clipper on my hands all the time. All right, let me take a look because I can't see it from your angle. Oh yes, I am so delighted. And that was so quick, so easy. There are a total of one, two, three, four stems of the Delphinium trick and one stem of Ali Agnes. Isn't that insane? So easy, so simple, an inexpensive design that will really give you some dramatic impact. Mm -hmm.